Uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon. Uh, you are welcome to my channel this uh, afternoon. How are you doing and how is everybody uh, on this site? You are welcome. This is a global solution for all mankind. And I'm happy again to join with you on this uh, evening time. Um, I'm coming to you from this, our new uh, office in the um, western part of Kenya. This is a wonderful place. We thank God for this opportunity and you are all welcome. So today I want to talk to you on uh, the benefit, the spiritual benefits that you can find in uh, what we call, there is something we call the table of the Lord. The benefit of the table of the Lord Sometimes we call it the Holy Communion. Holy Communion. It is a preparation of the grapes, the wine from the grapes. When you prepare it very well, the way it's supposed to be, which I know, and some of you, you know, how to prepare the grapes and make it become wine for the spiritual work. And then you dedicate it based on the word of God, and you do according to the will of God concerning the scriptures by putting it before the Lord. You make it, let it become a holy communion. The holy communion is a, a subject also that brings argument in the Christendom uh, according to the way I hear people talk. But I want to reveal to you that that thing is very, very powerful. Once the Holy Communion is prepared and exposed very well with a good preparation before the Lord, there are several things that, whether the devil like it or not, those things will take place in your life if you line up very well and you take it in a proper manner. The number one benefit, it brings uh, healing for all the incurable diseases. There is no any sickness that God cannot heal. And therefore, if you have exposed it before God, it can bring a very powerful healing on your body. The second thing, it, it, is a, it, it brings coverage for divine protection. The Holy Communion brings coverage for divine protection. If you take it in a manner that is acceptable, we prepare it and then you take it in a way that is uh, positive, you will see a very powerful result. Also, life is given. Life is given uh, by the partaking of the Holy Communion. There are people that don't have life. But when you partake it in a way that is acceptable, you receive life. Why? Because he represents Christ Jesus himself. And Jesus is life. Jesus Christ is life. When you receive Jesus, you receive life. So that particular event, he represents uh, the Christ himself in that manner. Uh, you also get um, uh, a way on how you can be in the presence of God always, it to, to dwell in the Lord. It helps you to dwell in God. If you look at uh, uh, John chapter 6 and verse number 57, it talks about something like that. It opens doors. If you have some doors that are very uh, disturbing, closed, and uh, so many enemies are trying to close doors, you can partake the Holy Communion in a manner that is acceptable on the right altar, and then it will open your doors. It brings revival to an individual and also the body of Christ for those are as large. Revival also for the things that are about to die in your life will be revived if you take it in a manner is acceptable. The Holy Communion op also opens the spiritual eyes. It opens spiritual eyes whereby you see in the realm of the spirit. The Bible says so. so. And then he broke the bread and gave to them. And then immediately when they partake the bread and drink the wine, 
the eyes opened up and then they saw that he was Christ. They didn't know who was talking to them when those two guys were walking to Emmaus. But when he brought the bread and gave to them, the Bible said their eyes opened and they saw that they are he is the Lord. He, he sharpened your spiritual eyes. You will be able to see the things that you are never unable to see by that time. He gives courage. When you are weak, you are discouraged, and there are many things that happen in your inner person, you can partake the table of the Lord, which is a, a divine communion. It will help you to uh, gain courage in the things of God in life. Okay? So these are part of the things, and not all, but part of the things that if you partake the table or the Holy Communion, it will help you. So number one, I have narrated all these things. You have to know, and there are many things that anything can happen. Anything that you pray about it, when you partake it, it can happen. However, this is a very spiritual ritual that if you don't understand on the meaning and understand it, it become a mere ritual. It cannot help you. And many people can idolize it uh, to become something that is uh, going to work in their life always like that. But it has to be with a very deep understanding. It will bring a very powerful transformation in the life of an individual if it is done in knowledge and if it is done with a deep revelation and understanding. I want to pray that all of you that you are going through a very, very chronic diseases and still, um, uh, health issues are very complicated. You have a problem in the health issue and the problem has been, no matter what type of the problem, or no matter what you are going through, no matter how long you have suffered, you can get a man of God and dedicate and prepare this whole communion very well for you or for your family, if it is a family going on, and then partake it by the power of the knowledge of God and the word of God being spoken and prophesied over the item or the recipe, and you will see a very powerful change in the area of health, in the area of your life or in the life of your beloved one. My name is Dr. Wilson, and I give you this message to help the people in the body of Christ, people that outside the body and those of you in the body that you can partake this particular product, it will be able to turn around your case and the Bible is backing up the points that I have narrated here. God bless you as you practice it and as you dedicate it and use it automatically. I want to tell you the solution is here provided on your case. Thank you so much. You are all welcome. I'll meet you again on the next video. Bye-bye.